If you happen to be watching this video, maybe you're somebody who is interested in craft beer brewing at home. Maybe you're someone who's interested in opening up a craft beer brewery, or maybe you've already opened up two or five or ten. Regardless of who you are, I think you're going to find the content of this video very important. At U.S. Water Systems, we deal with people who brew their own beer at home, all the way up to people who brew hundreds or thousands of barrels of beer a day. I'm not an expert at brewing beer. Some say I'm an expert at drinking it. But I do know this, if the water tastes good, the beer is going to taste good. A wise home brewer told me that one time. We also understand that all water is not created equal. There's lots of different contaminants in water that can affect the taste. In some parts of the country, in some cities, all you need is sediment filtration, maybe carbon filtration, and disinfection. Something like a sediment filter, a carbon filter, an ultraviolet light, or some other form of disinfection. In some parts of the country, you're not as fortunate because the water is contaminated with numerous other things, such as chlorine, chloramines, chemicals, pesticides, high hardness, iron, sulfur, manganese, all types of different contaminants can be in the water and those can affect the quality of the brew that you're making. At US Water Systems, we don't brew beer, but we do help you brew beer by providing you with the water quality that you need in order to do that. I believe that brewing beer is part science and part art. And if you're a true artist, you don't want to take a canvas that somebody else has already painted on or doodled on or put graffiti on and try to make a picture out of that. It just doesn't work. And the same thing's true with your water. You don't want to take water that's contaminated with certain things that are detrimental to your beer and try to make a good brew out of that. You can apply science and art to making your beer and you're going to make the, the best brew possible by doing that. Quite frequently we see some brewers start with water that has definite known contaminants in it that are going to directly impact the taste of the brew. For instance, exceedingly high hardness, maybe chlorine, chloramines, other chemicals, pesticides, even bacteria in the water. These things are not only going to be detrimental to your customers, but they're going to be detrimental to the brew that you're making. You know, it seems like hops, yeast, barley, malts, they're the rock stars of beer. Everybody talks about those things. But beer is 90% water. Don't lose focus of that fact. If you really want to brew the best beer possible, you need to start with the best water possible. That's what we do at U.S. Water Systems. We've treated water in hundreds of breweries across the country and around the world. And we know what works and what doesn't work. Let us help you brew your perfect beer. It's your water. It's your beer. But that's our mission. Cheers.